Hey everybody, um, thank you for stopping into my live. I am oh, trying to figure this lighting out. Um, okay, so <clears throat> this is my second Saint makeup haul. Again, I am not very patient, so I don't do my hauls typically right when I get my um, products because I don't think about it because I'm so excited to get the product that I just dig right into them. So I was like, you know what? It's okay. Maybe one of these days I won't be impatient and I'll do a haul like right um, when I get my stuff. But for now, the stuff will be used, but you still get to see the product. And this time I actually finally remembered to grab a little makeup wipe because when I'm putting stuff on my fingers and on my arms to show you guys the color, I never remember any of that. And then I'm like, hello, I'm like, it is not coming off my fingers. And then I'm like, oh crap, I forgot something. You know, it just gets a little bit crazy. Sorry, I'm going to adjust my light really quickly because it's so high right now. Um, anyways, okay, so now that we've got that fixed, this is what this is the fun thing about lives is you have to fix everything once you get going. Um, I hope that helps. Maybe that helps because I really want you guys to see the colors, but I'm trying not to make it too bright. I guess we'll see when we get started. If I need to, I'll turn that second one off and then we'll just see what happens. Okay. So in this haul, and if you're watching this not live, you're seeing it on replay, replay. Thank you so much for coming to Makeup and Margs. This is my tiny little corner in my room. Um, it's kind of my office right now until I get a better setup once we get our storage room cleaned out. Um, so I just sit in my cute little corner with all my cute bags and my cheer things. Um, I used to coach cheer. If this is your first time here, I just retired this year to enjoy my daughter's senior year and have become a saint artist because I love the makeup. It's just super lightweight and it works really good. And I just want to share it with everybody. But sometimes I know we all get super picky about what, um, what we want to buy because we're like, well, yeah, it looks great on the website, but we don't know what it looks like on, on people, people like live and in person or live and on YouTube in this case. Um, so I just thought, you know what, I'm going to show them what it looks like on my skin. You can obviously see my skin tone. So then you can maybe kind of compare what it looks like when I swatch it. And if you think it's something that will work for you, I might have to turn this really bright one off because I'm afraid it's, oh, that might be better. I was a little bit worried it was going to be a glare. Okay. Let's hop into what was my second Saint purchase. So this is my second Saint haul. I have Saint haul number one and my artist unboxing kit in previous YouTubes. So go check those out if you're over here at my channel. Okay, here we go. So we're just going to start with the palette that I got in this um, haul. It is a beautiful color. It was called Paris Skies. Um, right now, it's not showing up as available, so it may have just been a limited time thing, but I love the colors of this. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's like um, a peach and like a blue, and they kind of all just go together really, really nicely. So that's this. This is the 18 palette. So what that means, this has some of my stuff in it, so it's not going to be completely empty, is it has, you can fit nine of these big tins on one of the levels. I kind of have them all which ways right now because I had to remove some for this haul, but usually I line them up all like this, like, and you can put three top, three middle, three bottom, and you can fit nine on the top and nine in the bottom. That's why it's called the 18 palette because you can fit 18 of the rectangle tins, or you can fit 36 of like their eyeshadow tins because they're half the size or the small holiday lip and cheek. You can fit 36 of those as well. So that is the palette I got in this haul. That is the 18, uh, the 3D 18 count palette or 3D palette 18, whichever one comes out of your mouth first because I just say whatever comes easiest, but on the website, it is the 3D palette 18. And this is Paris Skies. They don't have this color anymore, at least at this moment. I don't know if it'll come back but they do have one that's similar design, just different colors. Okay, so that's the palette. Okay, so let's see. Next thing I'm gonna talk about, which this will be a little bit sad because this actually isn't even, let me put this over here. This actually isn't even available anymore. It's sold out. So sometimes Saint does things where they have things for just a limited time. 
if you consider any of those things, hop on them and grab them because once they're gone, they're gone. The same thing for the shade of the month. Whenever they have a shade of the month, once it sells out or once that month ends, you cannot get it anymore. So this collection is the sleepover collection. And I'm just going to do one thing at a time from it instead of holding it all up. It was really cute. It came in a little bag that was like blue and like had a little tie. It looked like a Santa bag, but a tiny one. Um, so this collection included the, uh, this is the Dolce Lip Scrub. I love this stuff. So it doesn't have, I'm not going to put this on my arm because it doesn't have any color. It's basically just a lip scrub. You can see I have a little bit of color on here, but sometimes I'll actually rub it over um, at the end of the day when I still have a little bit of lip color left on and rub it over and it just really smooths out my lips. So I love this. I really love to use it at night and then I like to follow up with, and I'm not going to put this on my arm either because it's just a very sheer tinted lip balm with the solstice tinted lip balm and then it makes my lips so soft at night sometimes I will actually put this over whatever lip and cheek color I am wearing because some of the more matte colors tend to dry my lips out so I like to have a little something that's like a gloss or a lip conditioner over it just so they stay smooth so this one is the solstice tinted balm unfortunately they don't have it it was part of the sleepover collection but the next two things you can still get, even though it wasn't in the sleepover collection. These are actually sold individually as well. And the first one we will talk about is the lip liner. This is suede. Um, let me see if I can put a little bit of this on my arm so you can see the color. So this is the suede lip liner. It is kind of a, it looks like a brownish. Um, I'm going to turn this bright light off so you can see maybe better. Yeah, that's much better. Um, you can see it's like a brownish color. Um, but it actually goes on really nice when you line your lips. There hasn't been a lip color that I haven't liked it with. So I just line my lips and then kind of blur it out. And it works great with every color that I've used it with so far. I tend to use it more with my pinks and my nudes and sometimes my peaches. I haven't really used it with the deeper shades yet. So I'll let you know how that works. But that is the suede lip liner. And that was part of the sleepover collection. But you can also get it by itself, right? I don't think it's actually a limited time one. So, yay. This one, however, is a limited time one. You can still buy it. This is one of their lip and cheek colors, and this is Ibiza, and it is such a pretty color. It's like a nude color with like a pink undertone, so let me see if I can wipe my hand off so that I don't get it all over me. Let me get some of this on my finger. I don't know if you can see it very well, but let's try. It's kind of sheer, but what I tried it with when I first started using this was the Ibiza and it ends up being a really pretty, pretty combination when you use them together. So that is the Ibiza lip and cheek color and it is a limited time one. So make sure you go grab that up if you like it at all, because once it's gone, it's gone and then you'll be really sad. Um, okay. So the next colors we're going to get into are some really, really pretty ones. Actually, I'm going to do these other limited ones because you want to see those because that way if you want to run over and grab them today, you know, hey, I might not be able to get these after so long because they might sell out. <laughs> um, okay, so this one is tangerine. I love this color. It's so pretty. It is such a pretty color. And I wasn't sure about it when I first got it because it's orange and orange can be a little bit scary. But when I started using it, I was like, oh, this is such a pretty, pretty color. And I actually ended up using, I still use it a lot more than I thought I would because it looks really pretty on your cheeks. It gives you a really nice summer glow. So I definitely think don't be intimidated by it because it's not as scary as it looks. So it's called Tangerine, but this one is a limited time one. So once they sell out of these, you won't have it anymore. Um, and I'll show you that one. Okay, this is tangerine. It's hard to do this when you're looking in the computer. So that's tangerine. It is orange, but it's not as scary um, when you put it on. And tangerine is part of their tropical collection. And it smells like tangerine. You remember lip smackers from when you were little? 
that is um, basically kind of what it is, but it's a, a tinted lip color and it smells so delicious. So the next one that we have is the, and that's part of the tropical collection, also a limited time, is the cherry. And it is, it smells like cherry and it's so, so um, pretty on. It's just a sheer lighter red. They have some darker ones and more matte ones, but I like this one because it gives just a hint of color when you wear it versus being like, whoa, if you don't want that big bold lip, but you just want a little something. So this is cherry and this one is limited and I'm going to put it right under tangerine. So you can see it's, it's very sheer, but you can layer these to get more of, um, you know, like deeper colors if you want to. Okay. And then the last of the tropical collection for this video, because I have some more for another video is the watermelon. It's probably my favorite smelling one because it makes me think of the bubble bubble gum I used to chew when I was growing up. It smells just like that. So I don't know if you can see it, but it's a really pretty pink. Again, not as bold as it looks in here when you put it on. It um, It's more sheer, so you can layer it. And then you'll know if you need to add more or if you want to mix it with something. But I do like this one, and I love this one on my cheeks too. Um, so let me go ahead and put that on my arm so you can see that one. So right above it is cherry, and that's the watermelon. Let me see if I can. Okay, so that's all of the tropical uh, lip and cheek colors that are limited. Make sure you go grab those up, watermelon, tangerine, cherry, but actually the watermelon is sold out, so you won't be able to get that. But they do have one other tropical um, color that I will showcase in another video that is still available at this time. Hurry and go get it if you think you want it. Okay, so the final three lip and cheek colors for this haul are Tropicana. It's like a peachy color. It's really pretty. It's like a peachy salmon, I guess it would be the best way to describe it. So I'm just going to put that on my arm so you can see what it looks like under the watermelon. It's a little bit lighter than tangerine, but when you get it on, um, it's a really pretty color. I don't know if you can see that very well. So that is Tropicana. Then we have Madrid, and that is like a pinkish color. It's like a pinkish salmon, I guess would be the best way to describe that. I try to hold these so you can see them really well in the light. But, um, and I'll show you that on my arm. I'm losing arm here. I'm almost out of space. Good thing I'm almost done. So it is a much more pigmented color, um, and it's going to be one of their more matte finishes. This is one of the ones that typically kind of dries my lips out if I don't put the lip conditioner or one of my glosses over that. It may be just my lips because I've heard plenty of people not had that issue, but I live in Florida. I'm out in the sun. So that could be a reason why some of the more matte ones tend to do that to my lips if I don't put either something on under it or something on over it. So that is Madrid. <clears throat> and then the last lip color for this haul is Sangria. And this one is so pretty. Actually, it's what I have on today. That's sangria on me with a little bit of um, lip gloss over it. Just again, it's another matte one. It's a really, really pretty shade. And I love this one. Um, I haven't actually used it on my cheeks yet because it is so pigmented on my lips. I haven't got brave enough, but maybe that'll be on my Facebook group. It's time to glow up. Maybe I'll do a live and just show what it looks like so everybody can see. But let's put this on my arm so you can see this color. And this is going to go under Madrid. So you can see that's super, super pigmented, but it's such a pretty color. So this is when you want that bold lip. Um, okay, now let's move on. I'm wiping my hands off because I have my awesome little makeup wipe. Um, I'm not going to put these on because my shade may not be your shade, but you can. Well, actually, I can if. Yeah, I will just so you can see what they look like on skin. This is um, my brightening highlight. This is June. So I'll just put it on my finger so you can see. It's, it's pretty light, um, but what you want to do is you want to go lighter with, for your brightening highlights so you can put it in the areas you want to brighten up, um, typically under eyes, sometimes right here in my T-zone. Any place you want to brighten up is where you're going to put your brightening highlight. For your main highlight, you're going to go obviously darker, more closer to your, to your skin shade like a typical foundation. So that's June, and that's my brightening highlight, my personal color. If you want to be color matched, I have the form uh, down in, in the description. So feel free to fill it out and I will get with you if you want to start your saint journey.
Next up is Bella Bronzer. This is, you know, just when you want to add a little bit of color, you know, on places where the sun typically hits. This is one of the four bronzers that they have. And I'll just show you that on my finger. So that's what it looks like. I know it can kind of be a little bit scary looking, um, but it's not. When you put it on, it blends out really, really pretty. And I keep putting my hand over here because I'm so used to having my phone. So I apologize because I'm doing this one from my computer. Anyways, that is the Bella bronzer. So that might be why y'all can't see the lips. I'll run back through everything at the end. And then last but not least in the color stuff, and then I'll show you a couple brushes, are the three eyeshadows I got in this haul. So the first one is, and I've got to find some more arm here, um, is Stay Golden. And it's just like um, a very neutral color. It's got some shimmer, so it's really pretty on. It's great for doing your whole eyelid. It can be a great base for your eyelid. So let me show you Stay Golden. Actually, I could probably just show you these on my fingers. That is Stay Golden. And if you really want to see it on my arm, I have a little bit of space left. It almost matches my skin tone. Let me see if I can do it on this side maybe better where you can see it. I have tattoos, so I don't have much arm left. It's essentially my skin tone, but when I put it on my eyes, it shows some shimmer. So that is Stay Golden. The next color that I got in this order is Chai. My hand looks so close when I do that. Um, and I'll put it under Stay Golden, if I can even find Stay Golden anymore. So it's a little bit deeper, not a ton, but let me show you. Again, it's another neutral color. So these are all my browns, like my browns and my neutrals for when I want that look. And last of the eyeshadow is Bubba. And it's the deepest of the shades that I ordered with this. And it's very close to my skin tone again. This is for my, 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 I want my eyes to look tan look. <laughs> um, it's, let me see if it shows up better here. No, my skin tone is, is very tan for summer right now. So you're just going to have to see it on my finger. But it's really pretty. Those are the three colors. Let me see if I can hold them up together. They're so tiny that sometimes I can't get them in my hands all, all at the same time. Um, so those are the three colors. So you can kind of see the difference in the shades. This is Stay Golden. The middle is Chai. And the last one is Bubba. So those are the, all the color I got for um, this, this haul. And the other two things that I got were two brushes. I labeled them because sometimes when you're in a hurry, you just need to see what's what instead of looking up until you get familiar with them. This one is the 3D brush. This one I typically use to apply my contour like here, 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 here. Um, and then you can blend it with this side or you can use this side to apply your highlight. The good thing about Saint brushes is you, is you can kind of use them for lots of different things. So if I use this to apply, I can also use it to blend. If this is the only brush I want to get, it's it, they're all very multifunctional. So I do love that. Um, so again, this one is the 3D brush. You can see it's got that. That's how it looks on that side. It's a little bit more dense here um, than some of their other brushes. And this is obviously a little bit more pointed so that you can, you know, apply it super detailed. And, and I really love this for applying right here and right here. And then the last thing from this haul and the last brush as well from this haul is the detail brush. This is another one that I love. I don't know if you can see it. It's got like a flat top right here. Um, and then that is what it looks like on this end. And then if you turn it over, this is the smaller end. And you can see that how it is. <clears throat> what I use this one for, excuse me. <clears throat> Sometimes I will also use this for applying my contour just here, here especially up here, because you can just put it right here on this and almost do one swipe. Um, and I love that. And then this end I use for applying my brightening here and here, here and here. I do it here. I do it down my nose. I use it to apply it to my T-zone and I do it here. And then I will get my blush and bronzer brush and blend everything out. So that is all for this Saint haul. I tend to talk quite a bit. Um, I don't think anybody was here live, so I hope you're seeing this on replay. Thank you for stopping here at Makeup and Margs. And if you want to join my VIP group, you can just go search Saint Beauty. It's time to glow up on Facebook and request to be added. And I will add you and you'll get, you know, all the fun talks, all the new releases, all the tutorials. I do a lot of lives in the morning. We, I like to call coffee and contour or contour while coffee 
just whatever I name it that day. Um, so come on over and join my Facebook group and be a part of it and learn about Saint. And if you have any questions, please reach out to me. Feel free to fill out my form if you want to be color matched. Or you can email me at glowupwithtony, and that's with an I, at gmail.com if you have any questions. Otherwise, have a great day, and don't forget, it's time to glow up.